Let's take a look at normal distributions. Uh, specifically, we're focusing on standard normal here. This is where they either tell you that uh, mu is equal to zero, sigma is equal to one, so mean is zero, standard deviation is one, or uh, has the form of z, like z is less than five, or z is greater than two, or z is between one and two, something like that. Um, it could, as in the examples I got here, have an x here, but they specifically tell you it's standard normal. But in some way, it's uh, referred to as standard normal. We got our three cases here, and we're going to examine these with uh, with examples. So if we look at probability that z is less than uh, 1.3. Now whether it's less than or less than or equal to, it's still the same uh, formula. So again, this is interchangeable with less than or equal to. So less than is this first formula, and that says we're going to type it in this way. So we got equals norm dot s dot dist 1.3. And then press enter. And that'd be your answer. Now let's look at the greater than case. For example, probability that, um, and I put z there, but equally uh, it may say x and then says a standard normal. So you see a mix of that. Um, probability of z is greater than 0.4. Well, uh, in that case, a would be our 0.4. I didn't specify that on the first one, but I think you saw it. And I plug into this formula. Equals 1 minus norm dot s dot dist. Beginning parentheses. And then we just want a, which is 0 0.4. And that give us our answer. Then if we have something, and again, I'll put it in different forms here so you'll see it. Again, it might say um, between 1 and 2. Uh, I might re reference X, assuming it says standard normal. That's this last case. So A is our smaller number, B is our larger number. So A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 2. And we want to plug it into this formula here. So equals norm dot s dot this beginning parentheses b. b is 2 minus norm dot s dot this a, a, which is 1. So again, uh, that matches our formula here. All I did is replace A and B with the numbers identified, and then press enter. And that gives us our answer. And those are your three cases. You may see a combination of them mixed together, but um, there's less than case, greater than case, and then between case.